Hey guys, it's Katie here. I'm all about cosmetics, beauty, and aesthetic. Welcome back to my channel. Please like to support, subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications. And today, guys, I would like actually to talk about foundations. And I've got two powder foundations that I haven't even opened yet. And um, one is from L'Oreal, and the other one is from Patrick Ta, uh, one size. And I've heard amazing things about both of them so i really want to try them out and maybe i will try one on one side of my face and the other on the other side of my face and um they also um l'oreal was um named a dupe for patrick ta one size so i also want to uh, figure it out is it the dupe or not because patrick ta is pretty expensive and l'oreal is super cheap so let's try them both out and let's see how they apply how they wear and uh which one i will like better so let's get started so guys as you can tell i've already done my eyes and my eyebrows and now since i'm on holidays i tried a little bit uh oh different makeup look so as a primer i would use added house face blur i received a little version of it sample a while ago so i'm using this one time to time i really like it actually i will warm it up in my fingers and apply it all over my face with dabbing motions i will start with patrick ta on this side of my face and guys it's so beautiful i i actually haven't opened it since uh, till this very moment and i'm like wow that's so beautiful you guys <laughs> look at it wow it doesn't it doesn't have any puff or sponge so i'm a bit disappointed I guess my one uh by the way is fair for an r and um I, since it doesn't provide you with any sponge i think i will use I think I will use my one from Dior. Dior one is one of my favorite powder foundations. So I will use this one. Sorry, I'm a bit messy today. Wow, so interesting. Okay. We'll check. Oh my gosh, it's so light. Actually looks so good and coverage is pretty much buildable part of the light side well I can always use some bronzer to warm it up but guys it looks so beautiful can you see can you tell I want to apply it all over the face <laughs> Wow, guys, it looks actually like my skin, but better. And it smooths everything so well. Wow, really, I, I actually heard people using it and saying like, wow, all the time. And I was like, it just cannot be. It is wow. Guys, wow, that's so good. And look at, can you tell? I do not really know if camera can show you, but the skin looks flawless like no pores nothing just like lovely skin maybe it's a sponge <laughs> no i'm kidding wow guys so far i'm like oh my gosh i will definitely get a darker shade for summer i'm just loving it why do i keep it and the next one is l'oreal infallible infallible sorry it looks like this and my one in the shade um 120 vanilla oh this one looks darker i need a mirror okay let's go with this side oh wow <laughs> it's basically like summer tone versus winter tone yeah i'm not really good at tones you know because vanilla is usually super super light right but this one, oh gosh. This one actually is definitely full coverage. 
and I don't know if you can tell but even they say it's vanilla one it's so yellow and you can definitely see it on the skin it's like a good amount of makeup well i'm not really happy by l'oreal so far but and this is one 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 basically layer here i put two like not really happy by l'oreal so far but let's see i will set it with a spray like i always do so guys so far i'm not really happy uh the way uh, l'oreal looks and Patrick Ta, I don't need the box anymore, looks amazing. And, but first let me finish my bronzer and highlighter and I will come back to you. So guys, I basically finished with the, uh, with the rest of my makeup for the bronzer. I've used uh, Too Cool For School and uh, Charlotte Tilbury. For the highlighter, I've used Hourglass. And for the lips, I've used LA... LA Girl uh, Shockwave Nude Lipstick, um, Coquette, and um, for the lip gloss, uh, Bourjois Gloss, <laughs> leftover, whatever was left of it. So guys, uh, the last step, I will set it with my uh, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, and let's see, maybe uh, this side will look better. You know, guys, uh, for Patrick Ta, even when I've been applying uh, bronzer, bl blush, oh, blush also from here, highlighter, everything, it looks so well. It blends in super nicely. But here, let's see. Actually, it looks not bad. But guys, this one looks actually it does look flawless but you can literally say uh, you can see that i am wearing makeup this one is a full coverage l'oreal is full coverage while patrick ta is more on a light to light to medium coverage but you can build it up and now it looks this side looks super flawless and you know like my skin but better and this side looks like even in makeup, basically, you can tell I'm wearing makeup here. You cannot, literally, you cannot see it on the skin. So I'm super excited to test it out throughout the day. Now it's one o'clock. <laughs> Proof. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm ready for my day. See you later. I will update you throughout the day. Hey, guys, update is like two hours later. <laughs> it's so inconvenient to show it like this it's 3 30 now so basically two and a half hours later so far actually both sides look really really good but this one as i've mentioned before it looks really natural and this one more like a full makeup though actually in person you can't really see the difference between these two shades which is super nice so okay see you guys later up close here up close there this side is really natural, this side is full glam on. Guys, a quick update on the makeup. Um, this side looks really flawless, this side looks more on the full makeup still. Actually, both still pretty look pretty good, though this one is still like makeup. You can actually see the makeup on my face, but here you actually cannot see anything except my eye makeup. And now uh, it's six o'clock. Update you guys, currently it's eight o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> in the evening. And I've been wearing both of the foundations for seven hours now. And I will remind you here, I've got uh, Patrick Ta uh, one size and here I've got infallible L'Oreal and uh, both of them look fine but I would like to see if I will touch up with a powder will it look better so 
So guys, after touching up, Patrick Ta side looks really good, flawless, as if I've just put it on. Uh, L'Oreal also looks good, though if you like full coverage, you will like it for sure. It covers everything and actually stays for a good amount of time, I would say. Under the mask, because I've been wearing masks today, both of the foundations stayed and they look really good. And if you touch up, as I've done with the powder, it looks really, really good. So both Patrick Ta and L'Oreal Infallible, they are really good. I would say that it's not a dupe for Patrick Ta because it's a full coverage, though uh, it's a really good powder foundation that stays for a long time and covers everything. My uh, bronzer and highlighter stayed, so thumbs up for both of them so that was it guys i hope you enjoyed my review for these two uh powder foundation and i actually like both of them <laughs> if you enjoyed it as well please give me a like and see you guys next time Hagel, bye bye